Hey, this is Larry Estrell. I'm a hospitalist in Virginia, and I just got my new Butterfly IQ, and I'd like to show you it. So just, here's the box I got. It's really nice, sleek design. And here it is, the new probe. It's smaller, fits in your hand a little better. Here's the old probe. You can see, a little smaller has a more ergonomic design here I think it's a lot easier to hold it's more like a pencil it has an all black sleek look here which is pretty cool still has the probe marker of course and now it has these new buttons you can program on the front to control if you're taking an image capture video or zooming in or out increasing the depth things like that so I've had a chance now to scan with it for a week or so, and I can say it's definitely better than the last probe. Um, it's just, one, the battery life is excellent. Um, the image overall is just feels much crisper. You know, I, I work generally in the cardiac unit and we do a lot of neck ultrasound, looking at the jugular vein, carotid ultrasound looking for plaque, looking at carotid dopplers. We also do a lot of uh, lung exam, looking for pulmonary edema, pneumonia, pulmonary fibrosis, pl pleural effusions, things like that. We do a lot of cardiac echo, of course, and we do a lot of liver looking for pathology or looking at, and doing a vexus and looking at the volume status. So I'd say when it comes to the, to the vascular ultrasound, um, the image overall is, is much more crisp, just superficial structures, the muscles, the thyroid, the skin that you see near the vessels are just much crisper and easier to see. Um, the jugular vein is very similar to the previous one, but it's a pretty easy vessel to see. Um, but definitely when you're doing carotid arterial Doppler, the, the waveform is much crisper on the new probe. Um, it's much easier to visualize small fluctuations in the waveform, <clears throat> which I like a lot better. It's also way easier to get a vexus, because, uh, you know, on with the old butterfly probe, um, scanning the abdomen was really hit or miss, because with bowel gas and the overall depth of the liver in some patients, it's really hard to, one, see the portal vein and hepatic vein with enough precision, and also to place the, the Doppler gate on the vessels to get a good waveform. So there is still some limitations, I'd say, with it compared to a sauna site, a big cart machine, but overall much improved, and I can get vexus waveforms in many patients. Um, in terms of lung ultrasound, I would say that it's really as good as any of the other machines. And I've done a lot of lung ultrasound, I've done a lung ultrasound study now, and I would say Butterfly has a way of um, highlighting the bee lines that make it just easier to visualize. Um, it's very easy to see lung sliding now in this new probe. Um, when you get down to the bottom of the lung, uh, it's easy, you know, you, you sometimes need to switch to the abdominal preset because the lung ultrasound uh, preset is optimized for looking at A lines and B lines. So once you get down to the base, when you're looking for atelectasis, consolidations, pleural effusions, you really need to switch to the abdominal preset. But I really have not had any patients where I was not able to see what I needed to see, even very large patients. Um, on the sauna site or, or other cart-based systems, um, the depth is generally better, but you still get a pretty hazy image at the base of the lungs in a bigger patient. So overall, I'd say that the application for lung is, is as good as it can get. Um, for cardiac, the, there is an improved frame rate on this probe, and it does seem to have a bit of a crisper cardiac image. Um, of course, it's very dependent on the patient. Um, 
a large patient with small windows between their ribs, it's going to be hard to see the heart. You can certainly see the general function. You can see if there's a pericardial effusion. You can um, oftentimes evaluate the valves quite well. But I'd say in general, there's still a bit of a haziness to the cardiac images that you don't get on a sauna site. And I'm not sure if that's the footprint of the probe, you know, being an all organ probe, there is some trade off between the size of the, the probe head and getting in between the ribs. But, um, you know, I'd say on many patients, I can still uh, assess the valves. I can even do um, pulse wave Doppler on the valves sometimes. Um, so for, for what it is, which is a, a, a small handheld probe that fits in my white coat and I carry it around, it's just, it's just really, really impressive device. I've also tried other handhelds that have a Wi-Fi connectivity and um, it's, it's, it's okay, but I, I do prefer a, a cord plug-in because it's just so much faster. On the Wi-Fi connectivity, you're talking about waiting 20, sometimes 30 seconds for it to connect, and you're just sitting at the patient's bedside waiting for it to connect, which can be a huge time, uh, time waste when, when you're scanning 15 patients in a day. Um, also, other probes, the battery life does not compare to this one. This one I can charge once every three to four days, and that's while scanning, you know, four, four hours a day, you know, 15 to 20 patients in a four hour period. Um, so overall, I'll say I'm very impressed with the new probe. I'm very excited to keep using it, and I'll post some great images and so we can compare this to the old. All right.